Melanie, are you ready? I'm ready. Five minutes. Okay. I'm going to put the battery in. Mm -hmm. Please, will you count us down? Five, four, three, two, one. Okay. Okay, here we go. Five, four, three, two, <laughs> one. <laughs> do you listen to lots of music? Um, I do. I go through phases when I listen to more at some times than others. And I think since becoming a mum, my life has changed so much, I don't listen to it as much as I did. Do you have a favourite singer of all time? <gasps> difficult question. That is a very difficult question. You know, I don't think I can say one particular, um, but can I name a few? Very quickly. Okay, Dusty Springfield, I adore. Annie Lennox, I adore. Um, more modern Adele and Jessie J, current, fabulous, great British female vocalists. What was it like starting out on a solo career all those years ago now, mm -hmm. after the Spice Girls split up? It was very exciting, it was very liberating um, and quite scary. Do you get more satisfaction from being a solo artist than you did as being part of a five? I think I do because you're being more expressive as an individual and you don't have to compromise artistically. So I love being part of the Spice Girls and that's an incredible part of my history. But being a solo artist is my real passion. You finished your fifth album, solo album? Yes. How would you describe the sound on that? I'd say that this album is quite eclectic sounding it's a pop record but it's beautifully produced i'm a lover of so many different styles and you'll find it all on there it's pop inspired with a bit of rock a bit of dance at times there's an acoustic number it's quite atmospheric dramatic with some beautiful string arrangements in there a little bit of everything do you think the lyrics in the songs you sing mm -hmm. influence people okay i think they can i really think they can and i've had some really positive lovely feedback over the years from fans and, and listeners of the music saying how often lyrics and songs can really help them through difficult times. What was it like becoming so famous so young with the Spice Girls? It was insane, it was exciting, it was scary, it was exhilarating and it was very interesting. Was it difficult to handle? Yes, it was very difficult to handle. I don't think anybody can ever prepare you for something like that. Probably a little bit like having a child. You know, you can, you can read all the books and you can speak to experienced people, but until it happens to you, you don't know how you're going to be affected. Tell me about live performance. Does that give you a thrill, a buzz? Yes, for me, the live performance is the end goal. Everything making music, being in the studio, promoting, making records. It's all about getting up on stage and actually performing live. That is why I do this. This is why I wanted to do this and I wanted it to be my career because I love to perform. Do you enjoy touring? I do enjoy touring, but there are negatives. It's pretty exhausting. It's difficult being away from home sometimes. Traveling can be so tedious, but you're getting up on stage every night or most nights and getting out there to your fans. So it is the best part of what I do. Do you think some of your fans from the Spice Girl days have stayed with you? Um, yeah, definitely, definitely. I think, I think it's interesting. I'd love to know if there are any or if there are many Melanie C fans that weren't Spice Girls fans. Because I think the majority were and still are Spice Girls fans, definitely. Growing up, did you have any idea what you wanted to be in life? Yes, I did. From quite a young age. I wanted to work in music, I wanted to be a pop star, um, either that or an Olympic gymnast. <laughs> do you still do gymnastics? <laughs> um, the occasional backflip. Um, I adore gymnastics, but actually I was probably quite young when I had to make the decision to, to continue with my dance training or gymnastics. They weren't really complementing each other that much. No late bid for 2012? Well, I recently took part in the London Triathlon and um, I did pretty well. So um, I'm, I'm hoping there might be a little place for me somewhere. <laughs> Do you play lots of different sports? I don't, you know. I haven't really played sports since I was at school. I think it's a shame. With a lot of guys, they continue to play football, don't they? They have like Sunday leagues or pub teams and stuff. But for girls, I don't know, maybe I need to go and find a netball team or something. I love netball. Is it right that you did a duet with your mum yes. for your music GCSE? Yeah, I did. I think we did Sisters Are Doing It For Themselves. And um, there's like a, I don't know what you call it, the practical part of your musical GCSE, your music GCSE. It's probably changed by now. 
Um, yeah, and I've performed with her on a few occasions. She is a singer. She still sings. Quickly tell me, do you think you live a normal life? No. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think there are, lots, there are lots of normal aspects to my life, but it'd be unrealistic to say it's really normal. And that... Yay! Melody is five minutes. That was a bit pathetic, that little ring, it was wasn't a it? Bit. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite an ageing clock now. It's been in use for a long time. Well, I'm sure it's, it's, um, it's had many stories. It's had many met stories. lots of interesting people. And now it's had another one. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Pleasure.